Hey, what's going on people? Today I'm going to show you how to edit a vertical type video using any landscape video that you have with you. And I'm going to show you how to edit it on a MacBook Pro here. I'm using iMovie. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to edit in this portrait mode using any landscape type video so that you can use for your Instagram, you know, your TikTok, your YouTube shorts, all of those vertical videos that you're seeing around. So I'm going to show you how to edit it. It's very simple, and I'll show you all the tips and tricks. Uh, but first, I'm going to film a quick little landscape view video, and I'll show you how to edit that. Stay tuned. That video you just saw right there is pretty dorky, but just wait till I put some music in it and edit it. So what you're gonna do is you need to transfer this video to your computer, right? So I have an iPhone and a MacBook, so they make it very simple to just do AirDrop. And there we go, there it is. It's transferred to my MacBook. All right, here we are in iMovie on the Mac. A mic check, a mic check, a 212. And here is the video that I transferred from my iPhone over using AirDrop. But uh, you, if you guys have a PC, you know, look into how to transfer it over. I don't know about PCs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this movie here and drop it into my iMovie right here. Here's the clip. So I recorded this in slow motion. So now just let me edit this real quick. Oh, bam so here we go I finished editing my video and I also added a soundtrack to it very easily so I show you right here these videos are all horizontal right so you're gonna go up to this crop tool right here click on it and then you're gonna rotate this to the right you see that it rotates it vertically like that and then you're gonna click on crop to fit and just resize this to the size that you want and so you see right here if I resize it right here it's gonna show the black border so I don't want to do that so I'm going to resize it closely to the video to where I want it. I'm going to line it right here so that it can be nicely right in the center where I want my video to be. Now you want to do this to each clip that you put in here. Rotate it to the right, crop it, and you see how it's all flipped vertically. So just keep on doing it to each clip here. And then I'm aligning it to be right in the center to where I want it to be. So here's the last one. Rotate to the right, crop to fit. I'm going to realign that right there. It's coming together. And then this is how it looks like. You see how it's all in this, um, it's all flipped around, right? It doesn't look right, but in the end, trust me, it's going to look correct. And then here, I'm going to also show you how to add text over it because um, let's say if you want to add a TikTok type image to it, right? I'm going to search for TikTok PNG. So it's very important. Go to the site right here. There's a lot of uh, different sites. You know, TikTok PNG is the, the type that you want, like a PNG type file. So I'm going to click on download here to download this TikTok image. Uh, you don't have to use this site if you don't want to. There's many PNG sites out there, but you do want a PNG type image. So it's allowing me to download right here. I'm going to download the image. And here is my TikTok PNG image. So I'm going to click on this and drag it into my project here. And you see how it just overlays it right over. And I'm going to stretch it to the whole video. And so this is what you want to do next. You want to go up here to the crop tool again. And I'm going to say fit because I'm going to fit this whole image in there. And then I'm also going to rotate this to the right. Same thing like how we did to the videos, rotate to the right. Or you can crop to fit, you know, either way, whatever you want to do. I'm going to fit it. And then go up to this tool right here. Click on that. And you see how it says cut away? No, you want the picture in picture. Click on that and you see how it just overlays it right over my video. So I'm going to realign this to, to look like a little TikTok uh, type video. So you can stretch this to however you want. I'm going to align it right there. Looks good. And you see how it just stays on top of the whole video the whole time. And it's in the correct uh, vertical position with it so that you can read it. Now I want to show you this too. If you're trying to add text, I'm going to drag text over the video right here. So I'm going to stretch this to all the way to the video size and you see how the text is it's horizontal. And I'll, I'll just type in, you know, J on the street right here. Let's say you want to add text to it. But here's the problem with it. This text, you cannot flip it. See, you won't it won't let you crop it and flip it. 
because it's different when you're adding text in this video here. You have to use a PNG image or any type of image and able to flip it because um, we're trying to flip all of everything to be in line to be vertically. And so, yeah, you can't do it with the text. It doesn't have an option for it. So uh, I'll show you another way to do it if you want to add uh, any type of text that you want to it instead of an image. So I'm going to delete that right here. And I'll show you that this site right here is called Pixlr. And I'll leave a link to the um, in the description to the site. But this is what I use to create my text. And I can output this as a PNG image. So here, I'll just save this right here. So here we go. Here's my PNG image that I just exported from that Pixlr website. And here I'm going to drag it into my project. I'll show you how it looks like. See, same thing, little PNG image. And now I can flip it. See, I can do different things to it because it's an image. So you, sorry, you can't do text in the editor, but you can create text outside of it, bring it in as an image, and then flip it and do whatever you want with it. But the important thing, like I said, is that we do want to flip it over to this side. So yeah, let me just delete this here. So now I'm just going to export this. I'm going to go share as a file. I'm going to share this file here. And right here I'll just call it IG Dance. Uh, you can add in a description and tag if you want, but I don't do that. Uh, resolution 1080p, I set it as high. Uh, since it's going on a phone, you can do 1080p. The size is pretty small. See, it's only like that much megabytes. It's not even that much. And uh, Sometimes I even do 720p because it's only going to a mobile type phone video, you know, for your Instagram, TikTok, whatever. But for this one, I'll do 1080p. I'll set it to high. Uh, if I was outputting this as a YouTube type video, I normally do custom and I increase my bit rates right here so that I can be really clear and really good quality. But since this is only going to like an Instagram type video, it's very small on your phone. So we're going to keep it as this. And normally I would also export it as higher quality, but you know, you can just do faster for this one and then click next and I'm going to save that and then look up in the upper right. It's going to show the exporting. It's going to show you how fast it's exporting. It only takes like under 10 seconds to export this because it's a very small clip. So here's my video IG dance. So I'll show you how it looks like right now. See how it's still in the landscape mode. So what you want to do is you want to double click on this file right here. Open it up in QuickTime. So when you double click on it, QuickTime opens and you're going to go up here to edit and rotate left. And boom, look at that. It's now in vertical. So after you rotate it, go to file, save as, and export it as a 1080p again. I'll call this one IG Dance Vertical. It doesn't take long to save this. And here we go, IG Dance Vertical. It is a MOV file because it is a QuickTime video and the previous one was an MP4. It doesn't matter, they're both video files. So I'll play this one right now, I'll show you how it looks like. <laughs> it's pretty dorky. Just like that. And so I'll post this on my Instagram. You guys want to check it out on J on the Street <laughs> if you want to view the whole video. But that's how it looks like. And then next, I'm going to share this to my iPhone. So the cool thing with my iPhone is that I can airdrop it. And boom, here it is. Transferred to my iPhone here. And that's why I like working with the Mac and my iPhone. It's so easy to transfer things on and off. That's how it looks like. Pretty dorky, but, you know, post this to your Instagram, TikTok, whatever. You know, see how everything is in the right position and stuff. Quick little video to show you guys how it's done. And that, people, is how you edit a horizontal type video into a vertical type video for your YouTube shorts, Instagram, TikTok, anything that you want. Very easily using all free software that I showed on here. I'll leave everything in the link in the description down below. If you want to watch this full video, uh, join my Instagram, Jay on the Street. And you can watch the whole dorky dance right here that I have <laughs> set. So I'll see you guys again next time. 12 in the morning, pop shells in the morning, yeah.